Greetings and salutations, folks, and welcome back to Mirror's Edge, which er, I hopefully, hopefully after last, <laughs> after the last episode, uh, my whole murder spree, uh, breaking away from a perfectly decent, maybe not completely pacifist run, because there is that one guy that you, uh, is just too easy to knock off the scaffolding uh, in that one level. Um, but it was a most it was it was a mostly pacifist run uh until i decided uh, uh i didn't quite feel like playing well, the same section way. over and you over know. again until That's i had good. mastered it yeah well there might um, be more heat out there it's too risky to try to get to the boat by foot you'll be spotted for sure there must be some way to slip in under cover but actually before we do anything um i believe i actually have to get uh somewhere quickly. Um, and I don't entirely remember how to get there. Sounds like it's time for a little stowaway action, Faith. Quick, before it goes. So there is a truck I believe I need to get on. Right down here, I think? Nope. Oh, nope, it's over there. There we go. Okay. So all in all, like in the game, you would What the hell is in this boat anyway? No idea. Could be munitions, I guess. Might be to do with this project, Icarus. Look, head straight for the deck if that's where you saw this guy. Once you found your killer, get some answers and get out fast. Lots of blue traffic in the area, so get ready for a fight. I believe you do kill two... Uh, technically, the only person you have to kill is in a um, cutscene at the end. Like, you knock him off like the roof of a building. Or, I, f I forget, if you knock him off the roof of a building, or if you knock him out of a helicopter, which happens to be uh, above the roof of a building. Either way, no matter what, he dies. Uh, so it's not exactly like Faith leaves this story with a clean record. Um, and then there's the guy with the scaffolding, who's more or less just set up to be knocked off. So, like, the game's achievement for a pacifism isn't really based on not killing anybody. It's about not shooting anybody. Um, and... What's it called? Uh, oh, hello. I completely missed him twice. Uh, Please don't shoot me, sir. Ah. Okay. Nope. Uh, I'm going to try that again. Nope. Uh, no, the uh, suspect wants to stay a single woman. Does not need to be engaged. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> almost made it. Temptation to grab a gun and shoot guards is increasing. And I'm, I'm not entirely sure wh why does it... Like, what causes the doors to open? Do you just kind of, uh, stay in their presence for long enough? There we go. Alright. Damn it. It's, 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 I find it very difficult to aim myself in this game. Like, you have to be very precise. And there's no lock-on button. 
I wonder if, uh, I, for I forget if Catalyst had a lock bu button. Um, yeah, because it's just been so long since I've played that game. And I've just played through that once. Oh, hello. No. Damn it. Yeah, a lock on button would definitely be very useful. Um, and... Alright. Anybody else? It's still playing the action music. So I presume there's at least one guy. Yep, yep, there is. Oh, there's two guys. Let's see if I can just get out of here. I mean, climbing up a pipe isn't exactly fast and expedient. But I'm going to try... Nonetheless. Like, is it really secure if I'm still running around? Like, you, you can't... These guards are pretty lazy. They can't really say this area is secure if I'm struggling to latch myself onto a ladder. There we go. And there's probably goons in this area, too. We go. That takes care of that guy. Hello, sir. Damn it. She just span. Oh, nope. Hello. I think there's a big guy with a heavy machine gun somewhere out there. Hello, sir. I offer kicks. I wonder if these... I don't think these cars are actually explosive. Yeah, they don't, the big guys don't really take that much to go down. Oh, you definitely need to take care of the guys... Uh, in that section, otherwise you're definitely not slowly opening up that valve. And then slowly opening up this valve. So it, it's kind of interesting that there are sequences in this game um, where you have to fight. Like I would imagine this uh, first game would be able to reach the ventilation room from that level. Could be would probably be more interesting um, <laughs> if it presented itself in a fashion not to not for a pacifism, but for non-violence. Whereas, like the route, uh, where it was uh, simple enough to figure out where you're supposed to go at all times. Eh. 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 See, they installed the green lights in this room. I'm, I'm not even sure I'm going the right way. Try and find a way off that level before reinforcements show up, Vic. There's got to be some way through. Alright, let's just drop down. See where, uh... Okay, I need to go up there. Okay, I need to climb up there, turn around. And then jump on that bar. I guess that's the tricky part about um, 
being in first person is like how do you inform the player that they are now specific at that very specific point where um, where they can uh, move ahead especially if they haven't actually seen the path oh my god Nope, nope. Oh, damn it. Ah. So I had more and less space than I expected. Also, are reinforcements coming? Will I eventually just get shot to death trying to uh, maneuver my way around these vents? Truly, that would be the end for Faith. Too slow to proceed. Okay. And then jump. Nope. Jump. There we go. Ooh. I can slide down this. Not as exciting of a slide as I wanted. Drake says he's got a runner in your area. Says they reported a lot of activity on that boat. But he seen what he thinks is your guy on the top deck. Uh. And it's not real like uh there's the big reveal at the end of this level in it. I suppose it's not really that big of a reveal because like you don't really know these other characters that well. They're, they have really brief scenes. Uh, but that's about it. So, like, when it shows the bad... Like, who the bad guy actually is. It's like, okay, they're the bad guy. Because by the... Did I just do a... No, okay, that's where I started from. Okay. It, it just felt like I just did a huge circle. And I want to go up there. Which is up there. So let's jump up and... Okay. Hmm. No, this isn't the way for it. So how about let's run? Nope. I think I got the right idea, just the wrong execution. So let's try that again. Um, okay. I should actually be jumping towards the vents... Oh my god. You do something a dozen times and then suddenly the one time you it just decides it nope. There we go. And take this vent just punch it. Although like the fact that you have this uh fight against the uh killer at the end of this level is pretty much the only real boss fight in this game. Like, there's the f final shootout in the shard, which you actually, no matter what, have to have a gun uh, in order to complete. Um, the first time I played that final level the top deck above you. Uh, in this game, um, I ran out of bullets. Uh, so I ended up having to restart... Huh. Can I? There we go. Because I was, uh, I wasn't really. I for my first run, I don't think I was worrying about the idea of going pacifist. I used up all of the bullets on the various goons, uh, and I still, I don't think I was really that positive as to what I was supposed to be shooting at. But a lot of this game is that trial and error. 
Uh, cata cataclysm isn't. Oh, bleak. Oh, nope. No. Stay in cover and work your way towards them. Time to get some answers. Hmm. Nope. Run, run. Faster, Faith. Okay, let's get out in the open. That's fine. Wow. This sequence I don't actually remember that well. I think I remember the sequence uh, where you're dealing with snipers more in the shard uh, than I am with this particular section. Hello. How are you? Oh, is that the, uh, the killer themselves? Because they did wheel the sniper rifle to kill, um, Rope Burn. Hello. <laughs> ah. I got shoved to the floor too many times. All right, let's try that again. Damn you. My face is important to me. Uh, nope. Okay, I can... I could have taken... There we go. I... That was a, um, odd sort of animation. Also, it's clear by this point I'm fighting a woman. Them grunts and moans aren't exactly he grunts and he moans. And remember, this game came out in what, 2009? Or so? So, yeah. So how many female characters exist in this game outside of Faith? Actually, it would have been a really interesting shock uh, if it turned out the killer was uh, actually Faith's sister all along. Like you thought she was, uh... Keep on. Damn it. I wasn't paying attention. Like if it turned out that, uh, Faith's sister, um was attempting to uh, change the world, uh, was, was herself complicit in Pope's death, but didn't want to get uh, Faith involved. And that's why, like, when you uh, show up at, uh, like, Robert... Uh, Popes, she's like, she tells, uh, I believe, I, I don't remember, I, I forget whether she, or not she tells uh, Faith not to get involved with the uh, investigation. Careful, Faith. So that would have really been an interesting twist. But, instead, we have the one other female character, who is also introduced as a runner, Celeste. Okay, let's... Ah, damn it. You can't really dodge that easily in this game. Like, there, there's a, the runner... Um... Runner vision... 
Uh, but there's not really a dodge maneuver. And that's one of the things that Cataclysm... Is it Catal... No, Catalyst. <laughs> Cat Mirror's Edge Cataclysm is a different game. Um, that doesn't exist. Um, I believe that does off that at the very least it offers a lot of different uh, combat uh, upgrades. Damn it. Almost got it. See, and then that's another problem with this fight scene is that it's like uh, there's a baked in counterattack that does a lot of damage. More damage than getting shot in the face. Strangely enough. Nope. Damn it. There we go. Are we done? Yes, we're done. Ah. Escapes during a moment of weakness. Making this entire level kind of moot. I was so, I tried to warn you off. I'm sorry. <laughs> I've got to learn to let go, Faith. You remember? What you did with your family. The runners are screwed. Icarus is just the start. And I wanna live, Faith, not just survive. Why Pope? His campaign was getting unexpected support, but he got stupid. Started making threats to the wrong people. High up people. He found out about Icarus, so they had you kill him. Him or me. Sorry about Kate. Didn't know she was your sis. I don't think these guards care if... Oh. Okay. Uh, so mid-cinematic she kills a bunch of guards. Don't ask, Mark. With a gun. Heard all I need to hear, kiddo. Listen, Krieg says Kate's just been tried. Already? Wonders of the Swift Justice Program, huh? They found her guilty, Faith. Of course they did. Convoy's taken her off to jail in less than an hour. I suppose that that's another implication of how, like, this world is problematic. She's organizing a rifle drop near the new CCC building. I'll keep you posted. Oh, yeah. Now I remember this level. I was because I was trying to remember which level was the one that had the re like looking back on Mirror's Edge. Like hmm. I don't fondly remember the combat or the puzzles or the shooting or the punching. But there's one specific level where it's just basically um, a plat where Mirror's Edge just kind of becomes a platform game uh, for a solitude Get away from for solitary uh, few minutes. Oh, hello. The anti-runner runners. They don't know I'm so fast. And have a very clear idea as to where I'm going. Nope, that's... Wow, I have no idea what just happened. 
I think... I think the animation, like, started up for your falling, uh, but then the game... Okay. Can't, why can't I... Climb up any of these things, alright. Why is the screen shaking every so often? There we go. Nope. Ah. Excellent. Ah, somebody left their bike up here. Snatch. It is unknown how many casualties were caused by fate. That, again, these, these other deaths, not caused by the player, but caused in the cinematics make that whole pacifist run kind of odd. Like, um, because there's a whole, like I talked earlier about the whole moral implications of being a pacifist in this society. Um, because in this society, it, like if you, if you are the pacifist. Uh, if you are the one who is not killing everybody, Nope. Nope. Ah, there we go. Then you have the high ground. The morally high ground. That is. Damn it. Um, I probably should have slid down first. Hello, sir. Uh, excuse me. I'm just gonna be climbing this, I guess. If you don't mind me. Nope, that did not work. Do I actually have to fight guys there? Do I have to buckle down and pretend this game has a decent combat engine? Ah, take that. And... I guess we can clean out the guys with the guns. Because those guys don't have guns. Krieg's gonna drop the rifle inside the CCC building. It's around the corner. Should give you a good view of Gates Convoy. So yeah, like uh if if you aren't killing anybody, you have the morally high ground, especially when everybody's trying to kill you, um, especially um, when the crime does not necessarily support their uh, amount of force. Huh. Do I run over across the wall, jump across it? Okay, I guess I needed to run longer. Um, like, shooting, going all guns blazing, uh, when somebody goes, when somebody's charged with breaking and entering, for instance, um, does not, uh, is definitely excessive force. But also, as... We don't actually know what they're transporting. Let's say, uh... They could prove... That the runners themselves, uh, transport packages for terrorists. If... If it can somehow be proven that the runners transport packages for terrorists... Then... Would it be morally right for the police to kill them? Drake says Kriegs just stashed the rifle. It's at the top of the atrium you're about to reach. Like, uh, I, I'm, I'd imagine they, tr they, have, they trust their... Oh, okay, this is the good stuff. This is the platform game. Also, this song, too. 
ignore all of my bullshit in regards to pseudo politicism. It doesn't matter. Just run around and listen to this song. I got a package. So not exactly the right way I was supposed to go. Do I go on this side? Yep, oh, here we go. But, like, this section especially um, is pretty much the main section of the game that's like, hey, you see all these movement options we gave you? Let's, let's just make an entire level. That uses them. I need to go... There we go. And you're constantly just climbing higher and higher, looping back and forth on yourself. Hmm. Ah, no, nope. Damn it! Ah, I went too far. Hmm. Can it? Can it? Is that a uh, controllable uh, inertia-wise? Nope. She she just slides so far. There we go. I guess I didn't necessarily need to do the wall run part. And jump. And the game is like, that's okay. You screwed up a bunch of times. That's fine. Here's the music. Relax. Um, hmm, I just circled back on myself. Oh, okay. That is because I need to jump off to the left. There we go. Climb up there. No, don't. What? Oh, what are you? Why did you jump over that ledge? Oh my gosh. Alas, the, the game's mo movement system isn't, isn't perfect. Or at the very least, um, it's something that re requires a greater degree of mastery to perfect. Mm, nope, that was way off. That was all me. I will kill for a checkpoint. Oh. I didn't even need to worry about that. Well, uh, jumping. There we go. So now I have to run a little bit farther off the wall. There we go. Let's just jump straight. There we go. All right. Hmm. Nope. 
Why? Why are you jumping over? No, just fall to your death now. Oh, stop grabbing onto everything. Like, there are certain things that she has never needed to jump over. Like, th these specific kinds of platforms. Like, uh, I think it's the issue of, uh, like, uh, the fact that, um, if you're holding down the forward stick too much, uh, it causes her to uh, climb over. Now, where do I go from here? Oh, hello. Um, oh, the, did the music cut off? Ah, I'm disappointed. Yeah, it causes her to clamber over the obstacle. Um, hmm. Okay, I guess I can just jump. Oh, maybe wall run? Alright. Should be some kind of vent near you. Quick route to the sniper position. Excellent. No. There we go. Jesus, the rats are getting big in here. Ah, there it comes back. Although that, like, that whole section there uh, is one that I always kind of remember whenever I think about uh, Mirror's Edge. Why, well, hello, Mr. Rat. Hmm. Ah. Bag lady. Got that achievement in the bag. A decade later and I'm still earning achievements for this game. Although I suppose that that shows you exactly how much time I spent uh, earning achievements in the first place. Like, I remember when achievements uh, started rolling out, and there were the first couple games where, like, achievements were nice and easy, you just played the game and you got achievements. But then there were the ones that really started to test you. Like, how many times can you do this particular maneuver, and where, where can you get these secrets, and I'm like, I don't care. Get that convoy in your sights. Find a way to slow it down. Try going for the engine. I'm gonna patch you into the CPF channel the convoy's using. I forget which way the convoy comes from. Like, does it come from like across the street that way? I just, I believe, I just need to shoot it in the engine. There's a cop car. And everybody was okay. Alright. Except, uh, by the time I get down there, she's gone, I believe. Shit. Too late. They know where you are now. Well, maybe I shouldn't have fired so many bullets, uh, from my position. Ah. Okay, this is good. I'm probably gonna end up forcing- forced to- or should I say giving up and just fighting a bunch of dudes with guns? Ah, take that. And there's probably going to be a heavy gunner somewhere. Hello, sir. Take that. And the, oh. Did I just knock him off the side of there? Uh, 
Uh, yeah, I think there's definitely a, a heavy gunner down there. Which is definitely going to be problematic. Not impossible. Not impossible. But problematic. Ah! Did I hit this guy? Nope, I just kind of ran past him and then got swarmed by a bunch of other guys. I wonder which way I'm actually supposed to go. Like, how many of these dudes do I actually have to fight? Versus how much, uh... What I have to, what I can skip. Like, there's probably no doors with valves on them. I can, I could probably guarantee that. Also, if I did a better job, oh my gosh, that guy is definitely dead. If I did a better job of uh, uh, stealing weapons, that would probably save me a, a bit of damage as well. Damn it. I died after my jump kick. Luckily, that was one of the uh, weaker dudes. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. <laughs> I forgot about the fact that you can... That you can basically, uh... Mario stomp... There we go. Uh, enemies. And it sounds like there is somebody else, at least one other guy that wants some. Hmm. Yep, I see you. I will go and give you a hug. Damn it. Huh. Uh, like, the, here's a, the issue I have with this particular section of level, is I don't actually know where I'm going. Like, if I knew where I was going... Then, like, the idea of combat wouldn't matter. Uh, but at this point... Like, the B button has decided it does not want to function. What is this? A really crappy shotgun. I traded it for the same gun. I keep on picking up the same gun over and over again. Okay, that gun is way over there now. There we go. Nope, hello. And then there's these two guys just minding their own business they're like yeah we we're just gonna stay here like what's your strategy sir we're just gonna shoot to our hearts content oh Oh, 
Oh, you just uh, leave onto the street. Okay, that would have been good to know because then I could have just left onto the street. And then I open up the doors, but it's empty. Kate. Kate. Oh no, Kate's there. Never mind. Effie, I can't believe you've done all this. You're my sister. I can't believe you've done this. Take but this. I... It's Mark. He's a friend. He'll guide you away from here. I'll lead the blues away. Come and find you later. But I believe she just gets captured anyway. So it's like you save your sister for nothing. Oh no, Merc Slayer has been destroyed. Oh god. Oh. Merc! I couldn't stop them. They took Kate. Now I'm using this protective That's blanket best. to give Here me some warmth. Place? <coughs> yeah. Shit, Mark. Let me get someone, a doctor. That ain't gonna happen, Faith. I'm sorry, Mark. I'm so sorry. No, no sorries. If only you had more character development than just being my handler on the radio. Also, most bloodless death ever. <laughs> Especially considering he was probably shot. Or they just beat him on, up enough, uh, and then he succumbed to his wounds. Okay, and then this, I remember fondly, is just the shard itself. L just looks awesome. But that's gonna have to wait until next time. Thank you for watching. Questions, comments, recommendations for something to play next? Comment down below or send it on over to it sounded good on paper at gmail.com. That's it sounded good on paper at gmail.com. So long for now.